months. It's cold. Parents are speaking out, having heard all the excuses. I'm never cold and it's not necessary. No matter how baffling. You guys are crazy. It's that time of year when temperatures drop, snow falls, and kids continue to insist on wearing shorts, launching the seasonal battle between kids and parents. Eileen Breidenbecker, a mom of two from Bridgewater, Massachusetts, says she gave up the fight. He's not going to wear them. So he's going to be late to school. It's going to be a fight every morning. So I figured, let him go to school, learn his lesson, and eventually he'll start wearing pants. But 10-year-old Jacob is sticking with his plan. Pants are not comfortable. For other kids, it can be a fashion statement. 15-year-old friends Tavia Seitz and Kate Sobel often refuse to wear coats because they say it's embarrassing. They'd rather brave the cold. Now, would a coat be the solution to our problems? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> But do are we, we willing to risk everything to do that? No, we are not. <laughs> no, we are no. not. What many parents want to know, can letting your kids choose their own winter outfits be harmful? Experts say to be aware of extreme weather, but other concerns parents often worry about may be unfounded. Turns out just being exposed to the cold is not more likely to make you sick. It can make you not feel great if your body is really, really cold, but it doesn't make it more likely for you to catch a cold. So what are parents to do? Many say they're making it work with what's best for their kids. Choose your battles. This isn't one of importance. It's clothing. He's, he or she is gonna be fine. And on this school day at just 30 degrees outside, Jacob stands by his outfit choice. This is what he wears to school every day. I can tell you. All right, yeah. listen, we have a lot of thoughts. Lots. We are living this at home, okay? My seven-year-old boy, only would wear shorts. My nine-year-old, same thing. Same with London. And I finally just hid the shorts. Right. That was my solution. You I'm not there in the morning. That's I just good. took the shorts, That's put them away for the, and now he has no choice. Down. This is family psychologist, Dr. Jen Farsen. Oh, yeah. So, Jen, <laughs> what do you think? What should we do? I have a feeling you're all going to jump on me. I think you have to pick your battles, Wes, with anything, right? And we were all talking about the slippery slope of what do you give, what do you take away, what happens. Mm -hmm. Hiding them is great, right? We did seasonal transfer, right? Spring and summer stuff went away, winter stuff came down. But I think, do you need to have the battle every morning? Or do you kind of come up with an agreement, not when you have to get out the door, that if it's a certain temperature, you can wear the shorts, if it's below a certain temperature, like, is this the kind of the hill you need to die on? And that's the question. Yes, Carson. My thing is that they, <laughs> like, it's, it's 32 degrees out, puts more clothes on, because they're in the mudroom and they're about to walk out right. into the cold winter air. They're going into a car that's that's heated. Then they're going into a heated building. <laughs> about how this, The school is always so hot. <laughs> Are they really putting themselves in that much danger? They're not. I mean, the truth is, is that whereas we used to be outside for a long period of time, and even with all of our layers be freezing, they're not outside that much. So, and, and one of the things that I learned in kind of doing a little crowdsourcing is they might not, for high schoolers especially, might not have a locker. So they don't have, they have to carry their coat or they have right. to do this stuff. So it becomes a big problem. Well, what if your so kid does walk? I mean, my kids walk to school. It's 15 yeah, minutes. A lot of them do. The wind yeah. blows. Yeah, it's 20 22 sick. degrees. Right. And he thinks that he's a basketball star dressed like Steph Curry in a tank top and shorts. Right. Like, we can't let that happen. No, you want them to be safe. A little bit of time outside in the cold is not going to make them safe. It's not going to make them sick. I'm sorry. And mm -hmm. So we want to be smart about it, right? Yeah. So you're going to have that conversation. So you want to think of a couple things when we have that conversation, right? We want to, like, why do they want to be in shorts and tank tops? That's what we want to I know. Feel like but I don't care about the of, why. Well, there are two parts of parenting yeah. styles. In the 70s, 80s, even no, the 90s, yeah. parents said, put your pants on, you're going to work. Now we're like, why do you want to wear shorts? Do you? How do you feel? This isn't even about shorts. Parenting is a one-way street. It's about every single thing. Right. right. Well, so, Jen, <laughs> what's the right Jen? way to parent? We're not, we're, what's the opposite of oh gentle parenting? Because that's what we're all about. So, <laughs> well, but you know, I agree with that a little bit. I think that we've we've kind of crossed into a line of too much negotiation, yeah. too yeah. much yeah. debate, yeah. all of those things, and you know hard-handed, this is the only way, isn't necessarily the right. best way either. Right. So I want to know, my own curiosity, I want to lean in with the curiosity of, well, why, I might still say you have to wear the shorts, yeah. but I might still want to know, why do you not? Well, like Mike like, would mean, say, because none of my friends yeah. wear. Right. Right. So, so what, is, what's the answer to that? This is a big argument. And I think we, ha we can't ignore the fact that young people sure. during this time want to be like their friends. Right, we right. want them to be individuals. We want them I to think, learn who I they are. Media, they want to be but, liked. But they want to be liked. They want to be accepted. They want to be part of the group. Right. Guess what? So did all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? We wore the same sneakers. We wore the same socks. We did all those things. We just wore pants. I have texted other moms and been like, can you, let's get on the pants train together. 
Oh, yeah, I that's like a good idea. Yeah. I like yeah. this. If you're a certain age. That's good. Yeah, I was paying attention to both. It's like we're not on television. That was good. That yeah. moment. <laughs> so, why are 11 year olds going into Sephora like it's a Toys R Us? Can you answer that? <laughs> yes, I can, but that's a okay, whole other segment. segment. Yeah, I got two oh. little girls at I, Sephora. It's a whole other segment. Two hours at Sephora. I'm going to do more tomorrow. Come through the window. You can't go in the store. And you have more leniency or more kind of ability to deal a seven year old than a 17 year old. Okay, we got to go. Thank you, Jen. We have to go. Bye. Did we settle it? Thank I don't you, think Doc. so. No, we never settle it. Questions no. okay. and answers, but that's good. Thank you no one very much. Their if you want to weigh in on this great debate, you can go to our website. Because I said so. Today.com. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. It will only mean something Roker. if you follow through. Go to Roker. You got to follow through. <laughs> Remember this? He looks like London. He looks like my kid. What's wrong? Let them wear the shorts. If they get cold, they'll put on long pants. Oh. Just let them go. Let them go. Maybe they should pick. Yeah. Maybe they should pick their battles. I'm I could not understand a word you all funny. said. You're all talking at the same time. <laughs> How about talking about that? Now we're afraid to. <laughs> See, that's that's 70s parenting. Right? Yep. That's yeah. it. That's, 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 that's it. Zip it and move on. And Just because your friends are jumping off a bridge, are you jumping off too? Yeah. That's what my mom used to say. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's exhausting. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.